I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Easy, Mick. You broke my nose. My best feature. Still, we have to get him back to his time in one piece. Or he doesn't go on to conquer the world and help create the greatest empire history has ever known. We need to get moving. It's not going to take Rip long to track down a stolen time ship. Quite so, Miss Lance. It appears that you've captured the real Julius Caesar. Well done. Now, if you'll just return him to us, we'll be happy to handle his reinsertion back into history. You don't think we can handle it? It's not that. Maybe it is that. But the fact remains that you have hijacked our property. And if you return it to us, along with our anachronistic guest, all will be forgiven. I trust you'll use your best judgment. <laughs> Does he not know this team? Shouldn't we entrust Caesar's return to people who do that sort of thing professionally? I thought this was our chance to prove that we were professional. Ish. Your call, Captain. Gideon. Plot a course for the time, girl. If your intention is neither boasting nor mercy, to what do I owe the honor of this visit? <laughs> you doubt your present course of action and seem to believe that Caesar holds the key to resolving it. There's nothing to resolve. My course of action isn't up to me. So you believe your future lies in the hands of the three fates? No. It lies in the hands of a group called the Time Bureau. And if I go against them now, they'll take my ship. And if I screw this up, then I lose everything. And that's all you're willing to wager for greatness? Pompey said he would have my head for going against the Senate. But when I lead my army across the Rubicon, Rome will welcome me as a god. Well, I wish I shared your confidence. It cost me eight years and countless centurions to conquer Gaul. But with an Amazonian queen like you by my side, I could make short work of the rest of the world. Conquering the world does sound nice. But I don't need you to do it. Ship's fixed, Cap. Fixed enough to get us back to the Time Bureau? Mm-hmm. How about ancient Rome? Only one way to find out. According to Gideon, Caesar disappeared the night before his famous march on Rome. Yeah, no crossing the Rubicon means no civil war. No civil war means no Ides of March. No Ides of March means no Roman Empire. What happens on the Ides of March? Mm. Wow. That's when your friends, who really aren't your friends, stab you in the back to stop your rise to power. Not that you remember any of this. Check it out. History is back to normal. And now, a little something for the Haywood scrapbook. Oh, man. That's a keeper. Enjoy conquering the world. Perhaps my eyes deceive me, but that does not look like the Time Bureau to me. No, it says here we landed in 49 BC. Relax, because we just dropped off JC back where he belongs. So history's been restored, and we can go a home. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why? Something wrong with the ship? No, but your home no longer exists. Here is a map of what was formerly known as the United States circa 2017. I thought you said that history had been restored. Does that look restored to you? What does Magna Hesperia mean? It means Caesar went on to conquer the known world and then the unknown world. One of you fools must have entrusted him with future knowledge, something that allowed him to alter the course of history. No, no, I mean, Sarah hit him with Rip's flashy, flashy thing. thing. Oh my God. What? My book. What book? 